Hey, welcome to Hammered Ironworks, episode number six. So in this episode, I put a sideways chimney on my coal forge. Basically, I can roll this baby out in the middle of the shop and I do not need to, you know, use it outside. I can work in the shop, plumb all my smoking nasties right out the window. Works well. Pretty happy, been meaning to do this for quite some time. Oh, and I've got a hot branding iron, so I might as well brand something. Any guesses to whose furniture dolly this is? Nope, we know. Okay, so here's the plan. I told you earlier about this pipe that I bought. Well, this pipe that I bought, I want to put on the top of my forge right here. Plumb all the smoke out the window. But, I didn't really measure anything because that's how I roll. And, it's way too high to go off my window. And, I mean, you'll understand what's going on here. I'm going to like set it all up. It's going to take me probably 20 minutes to clean all this garbage out of here and get her lined up. Let's see what happens. This is called proof of concept. What I'm going to do is turn on this little sucker fire fan ordeal that I put up there in the chimney and then we'll see as if that actually draws enough draft to kind of suck the smoke and the nasties out. We're just going to see if it can actually be used indoors with a chimney that's set up like this and I can still breathe in here. So a lot of people like crunch up newspaper and then they like, you know, start their little wind going up under there, start their coal. Uh, I just use this. because. It's easier. And I don't even think I have any newspaper. I don't get the newspaper. So why would I have the newspaper? So right now it's working quite well. There's no smoke in the shop. And I've got my blower on a pretty high speed to get things up and going right here. Forcing the wind up through my brake drum which has refractory cement shaped into a little bit of a, a taco. My hood is doing its job. The guy helped me build that a few years back. Boy that's, that come on nice. That's because he had skills and he taught me something. And my chimney although it's crooked because it really goes downhill, it is proving that my sucker fire that I put right up in here, this little sucker fire goes up in the chimney, that's working well. So I'm pretty happy with how it's working. All my smoke that kind of rolls around in here heads right outside the way it's supposed to. Proof of concept. Now I've just got to make it actually work good. But in the meantime, when the fire is going, you got to heat up some metal and hit it. Hot metal, always got to hit it. Back scratcher. So I'm really happy with the outcome. For a couple of years now, I've been wanting to actually get my coal forge set up so I could use it in my shop in the winter time instead of just in you know the warmer weather outside. And that just doesn't happen in Maine. So this is going to work out pretty good. Hopefully, once I get this all rigged up, make a setup that I can actually like put out the window when I go to use my coal forge, I'll be able to use it, do some project, put it away, and stay warm. And that's the tricky part of living where I live. Anyway, let's get going with the project.
made myself a happy little chimney right there. Mm, it smells good too. All right, time to wash the paint dry. Okay, so I'm waiting for the paint to dry. We might as well take a look at the, uh, you know, sucker fire that I got right up here and the chimney I keep talking about. Let's go climb the ladder and find out. Okay, so what you'll see is there's like a, a fan blade that spins and just forces a draft up the chimney. Works very well. It's made actually to do what I'm doing with it. I actually, oh, wait a minute, I didn't pay money for it. It was a gift. Ha! It was another freebie. I love freebies. Yeah. All right, I gotta work on getting like a plate to put in the window here. It's probably gonna live here. I'll screw it into the sill. And, uh, well, yeah, basically, is that the sill? I don't know what it is. I'm gonna screw it into this wood stuff over here. Whatever. Anyway, put a hole in it. Pipe will go through. I can put it out when I want it. Take it away when I don't. So you're gonna want to take sure take your tape measure and you know measure things out. And then uh, so 34 and a quarter. You gotta put it in your palm pilot once you get your measurement. 34 one quarter. Okay. Wide. Okay, then I'm thinking, I know that that chimney is eight inches, so we're just gonna kinda, we're gonna estimate what we really want. We're probably gonna make it about, oh, maybe a 13 inch insert. Cause 13, that's a lucky number. Why wouldn't I do that? Perfect. Palm Pilot. Oh, wait a minute. You can't hear this right now. Sorry, it's that whole copyright thing. I'll jam out. You guys just hang out. Okay, so the paint's drying. I might as well get a little bit mystical on everybody. So what I actually made through this video was this circle. It's called the YouTube Circle of Life. Let me explain it to you real quick. Here's how it works. So, I've actually designed it so you'll understand. Right there. So you see what it says right there? What's it say? Oh, subscribe, like, comment. Do you know what happens with the YouTube Circle of Life after you do that? Oh. Look at what happens. Dave makes more videos. That's how that stuff works. You think I'm just doing this for fun? You think I just come out here and goof around? Think I enjoy doing this stuff? 
Is this the type of stuff anybody does for no reason? 10,556, 10,557, 10,550. I mean, I built this place for you guys, not me. So let's not be shy with the comments and stuff. I know, technology is hard, right? Go find somebody that's like 10 years younger than you and they'll know right how to hook you up so you can make it work. Here's how you find out if they're 10 years younger. You ask them if their body hurts when they wake up in the morning. If it doesn't hurt when they wake up, that's the person you talk to. Simple. All right, paint's probably dry now. <laughs> paint's dry. All right, time to put her up in the window, see how it works. Time to go set it up. Okay, chimney gazers, I got it all plumbed up. It's pretty cold outside tonight. I got the heat turned on, sorry for the background noise, but I wanna stay warm. I checked the thermometer and it said freaking cold. Probably, I don't know, five something. Anyway, it's time to fire it up. Would you just look at it? Look at it. Oh yeah, she works, man. Look at that. Look at that big bucket, awesome. She's rolling the coal right out the pipe. Okay, for all you little science weirdos, we're gonna use a little thermal gun and see how hot the chimney gets. Cause I wanna make sure I don't really burn the place down like in the first one or two nights of using it. I wanna get a week or better. So, I'm gonna like stoke this up way more than I typically would. I've got my forge blower on high right now. I got my chimney sucker fire on high. I mean, we're running some temps up here. So I'm going to see what type of temps I get out there where it goes through my window. Okay, I've had this running for a while here. Let's see, right, uh, right at the head of what we got here. 240 degrees. Okay, now let's start to see what we got over here. One eighty. I mean, 130 is really not bad. Oh, it's comfy right there. Nice hand warmer. So over that stretch, it cools off quite a bit. So that's a pretty good outcome. I've been running it quite a bit, and uh, that seems to be good. I mean, I want to make sure everyone knows that this right here is my dolly. So if you find you need some sort of a chimney on your coal forge, get a sucker fire like this thing here, and get yourself some pipe you can scream re cola through, and then stuff it out your window, and then blow your smoke out your side of your building. You don't need to drill a hole in the roof. Stay cheap, cheesy, and crafty. See you next time.